Hello, here's a real quick tutorial on how to utilize Google Calendar with your Google accounts. Notice I'm currently signed in underneath my personal Google account and up here at the top I've got my Google Calendar present. I'm going to go ahead and click and access it and you can see all of my current events for this week popping up starting with Sunday the 19th all the way through Saturday the 25th. This is the default view for Google Calendars. I personally like the month view and I click on month and there's the entire month of August up in front of me. Notice over here to the left is where you can navigate and access all the calendars made available to you. The calendars that you personally created and the other calendars that have been shared with you. Right now you should have one calendar under my calendars. It should probably be a light blue color and it should say your name. Notice it says Kelly Williams here. I'm logged in under myself. The other calendars I have created and I manage are my biology class calendar and the general science class calendar. These two calendars should be viewable underneath the other calendars for you. So underneath the other calendars, I've got present a slew of other calendars that have been made available to me. You should have under here the biology class calendar or the general science class calendar and also the Nemaha Valley Schools Activities calendar. I should have made available to you or invited you to each one of those calendars so you could view them under your personal Google Calendar. Okay. The one reason I'm introducing Google Calendars to you is it can be a great time management and organizational tool as you move through these units with this flipped classroom model. Since you'll be going at your own pace and your own time, one way to keep Mr. Williams and yourself updated digitally on your progress through the unit is using the events feature with Google Calendar. So let's say for instance we are in the middle of October and you have decided to take the Unit 1 test on October 1st during fourth block purple day so general science so you would go to create the event make the event from 1 30 to 3 which is the fourth block general science time period and where is it at room 110 and description this is where you'd say something to Mr. Williams like I plan on taking my test in fourth block on October 1st over unit 1 okay so it's a way for you to keep yourself organized and it's also a way to share with me so I can kinda help you keep yourself organized how do you share this event with me by adding me as a guest add guest enter email addresses here's where you type in my email address notice under here I do not want to modify the event I want to see the guest list and by those here's how you manage what the people you invite to the event can do with that event on your calendar okay um, I don't need to necessarily invite others to this I'm just gonna add mr. Williams and notice that it puts me down here and underneath this event you can see and manage all the necessary details I'm gonna click Save and that event has been created up here in this little yellow box it has added the Unit 1 test on Monday, October 1st, 2012 at 1.30 p.m. And there it is. So, using Google Calendars and creating events under Google Calendars, it's a great, great way that you can manage your progress and also keep yourself organized as you progress through the units in Room 110 in General Science or Biology using the flip Class model.